Hello! I totally just realized that I did not film an intro to this video because it's a very rambling video over the course of a couple weeks. <laughs> Basically, welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie. Um, I like to do some plant content, some vlogs, some grad school content, anything like that, and a bunch of other random little videos. So if you're interested in any of that, give me a subscribe and keep watching. Um, this video is a plant upkeep video, so just a little bit of maintenance that I've had to do over the past couple weeks or so, and I hope you enjoy. The time has come to bring my dormant babies out of dormancy. I really don't know if this is too early. Um, it's currently October 14th. Typically they are supposed to wait until like the spring to bring them out of dormancy, but I put them into dormancy like I want to say in July. So they've been dormant for quite a few months. Um, so I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But here's what they look like. I'm pretty sure this one is the cyclamen and this one is the shamrock. But they are totally dry, like dry as a bone, obviously, because they've been in a closet for three months. So I'm going to give them a nice little water and then I'm just going to leave them, I think, right on the windowsill, windowsill so they're getting some good sun. And I guess we'll see how long it takes to get any signs of growth or if they're even going to come back from dormancy. I don't know. We'll find out. So this plant is my little asparagus fern that I got. It's in a, I think this is called a two inch pot. It doesn't even look like two inches, but I'm pretty sure it's two inches. Um, and I promptly killed it, sort of. But you know, you can see that it's like coming back up here. And so what I think I'm going to try and do today is go in and trim all the like really dead growth and keep all the nice green growth and see just like what it kind of looks like after that. I also noticed down in the bottom here, there are some roots kind of starting to pop out and I can see like roots in the holes and stuff, but I also really like how tiny it is. <laughs> so I don't think I'm ever going to pot it higher. I think I'll just keep it small but I'm just going to start trimming. Okay, and this is the final plant that we ended up with. Um, it's very scarce looking, but I think it's really cute, honestly. Um, it kind of looks a lot healthier too. I did end up cutting off some like fairly green looking stuff, but I just know that this is the green before it turns to brown. So hopefully I can keep this alive a little bit better. There are so many little leaves in the dirt now and it's like all over my desk. Uh, quite a little bit of a mess right here but I think it looks good Oop, now my camera's tilted <laughs> um, I think it looks pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it actually I think it'll probably thrive a lot more because now this growth that's down in here and still alive can get some actual light so hopefully it bounces back pretty well I mean these new things up here are giving me hope for it so we'll see okay then my next plant pro project this is my Fascia haponica that has been dying on me, slash that I have been killing. And there are approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight healthy leaves on here. Like this one is super crunchy, this one's crunchy, this one's crunchy, this one's crunchy, this one's crunchy. So what I'm going to try and do is chop the heck out of it and save it. So what I'm first going to do there's like a little plant right here. This leaf and this leaf are attached to some little leaves down here at the bottom. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to see about maybe water propagating it. And all the other leaves I'm just going to cut off. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. This is where I'm currently at. There are all the leaves that had damage on them. I cut this one off. This is the only one of the ones that I cut off that had no damage. But all the other ones on the same stem were damaged. So I figured it's just a time until whatever is killing this thing gets to there. So now I'm trying to decide 
<laughs> this is what I have left. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to maybe look at the root system itself and see about saving it. But I think there might be something wrong with this soil. So I don't know if I might go outside and break everything up and try and save the roots that are already there. Um, I think I might just go ahead and do that. And if I decide to throw it out, I'll throw it out. But see, okay, see, even this leaf is not good. Oh man, this thing is just giving me hell. Another update on where we're at. I have removed most of the soil from it. There's the root ball. There's the rest of the soil. The roots looked pretty healthy. I mean, there might've been some root rot. I really don't know, but I'm gonna end up throwing that container and all that soil away, which sucks because the nursery where I get my plants from always has really good soil. So now I'm just gonna take the roots and soak them in water and try and get more of the soil off. And then I'm just gonna water propagate it for who knows how long. And then see if it comes back at all. Cause those look like pretty healthy roots. I mean, obviously when they're wet, they look a little less healthy, but I don't know. I'm gonna get it as clean as possible so that when I put it in its water propagation, it's not like mucky water, but this will probably take a few clean bowls of water to uh, accomplish. What I ended up doing in the end was just taking this section and getting all the soil that I could off. There's still a good chunk in there, so I'll just have to be really careful about remembering to change this water every day until the soil is totally gone and then still probably try and change it every day. And then I sprayed pretty much the heck out of it with diluted neem oil. And I made sure to like wipe off the bottoms of the leaves and stuff. There was like some stuff on the bottom of the leaves and I don't know if it was like pests or maybe it was soil. Cause I, when I was trying to figure out what, how to fix it, I at one point took it into the shower. And so the water could have like splashed the soil and then splashed back up onto the bottom leaves. Cause it was the bottom leaves that were the messiest. So this is what we have. I made sure to leave the water level, sorry, leave the water level low enough to where none of the leaves are like submerged in water. And like I said, I'm just going to be changing that water like every day for a while and see what happens. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm a little bit of ashamed of these two plants right here. This one I think is just thirsty. I can tell because of how like easy it is to bend these leaves and how much it's drooping. So that should perk up after some water, which I'm about to do. And this one, I don't know what happened. Like it looks like it just broke off at the root or something because I can like rotate it around really easily, but it still looks alive. So I need to take this out of the soil and see what's going on and figure out what to do about this. I'm gonna water this and it should perk right up. I did lose a leaf off of this this week and you know why is because I can tell that there's another leaf. Oh, that is not gonna focus coming in right at the top here. And I cannot for the life of me keep the bottom leaves alive on this once a new leaf comes out. So I'm really hoping that's not a death sentence and it's really just thirsty. But anyway, water this and then I gotta take a look at that. So this is like a little, I don't know if this is like a fungus or something. It was growing just like on the side of the soil over here. But I don't know if this is salvageable. Like it looks, like it just got dried out and twisted around and stuff. So I don't know what to do. Uh, I can't be a person who killed a snake plant. Although I will tell you a quick story about the snake plant. It used to be bigger. It was from my roommate that I lived with second semester of sophomore year. And he just gave me the plant because he didn't want to take it with him. And it was put at the front door of our house and forgotten about and not watered for literally like two years. And then I kind of remembered it because it was kind of hiding behind this curtain. So totally forgot about it. I cut off a bunch of the leaves and stuff and I kept this because it looked like the healthiest part. And now it looks like it's not healthy at all. So unfortunately, what I think I'm going to end up doing, it did break off, is I'm going to cut this and put it in this jar for water propagation. Um, snake plants take five ever to propagate ever in any sort of way. And I'm not entirely sure where I want to cut it, so I'm just going to start low and look at it. 
that looks pretty healthy. I just don't know if it would propagate better with like more or less of this stem cut off. I'd have to imagine the more stem is there, the easier it's gonna water propagate. I um, sterilized these beforehand with a, like a rubbing alcohol wipe and I'm actually gonna do it again. And then just use the rubbing alcohol wipe on the bottom of this. So I'm gonna leave this to callus over, I think for maybe a day, and then I'll put it in the water. Another day, another plant project. So I have a couple of things that I'm going to do today, and then actually a little bit more that I wanna do for another video, so I'm not gonna really show that too much. But I basically have my little crassula right here that is totally just like a pellet of really dried compact soil in this tiny little pot. So I just want to give it some fresh soil and maybe like break this up just a little bit because this is, I have to water this like shockingly frequently for it being a succulent. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to pot up some of my little propagations, uh, specifically the crassula ones because they have really nice long roots. And then I will just kind of determine what to do with the other props that I have going on. And then there is this. So. This is my rabbit's foot fern, and there's some yellowing that's been happening on quite a bit of the fronds. And I'm thinking that it's because it needs a bigger pot. This has been in this pot since I bought this plant. And I wanna check out the roots and see if it needs to be repotted. So if it does, I'm gonna put it in this. And I'm a little bit worried because this is a lot bigger than this pot. Um, it's the only one I could find, and it's an orchid pot. So it's got all these <laughs> extra holes on the side, but I figure, if this is gonna to be too big of a pot for this, then having an orchid pot in that extra aeration is probably a good thing. So I'm going to save this one to the end because I think it's gonna be the messiest and I'll just go ahead and get going. up with I checked out the roots it doesn't seem root bound I couldn't even see the roots when I took that out so I don't know why it's angry with me we'll just keep going with it and see what happens I hope I didn't make it too upset by disturbing it so I'll just have this pot for whenever I need it and then here with my crassula pagoda I just added some extra soil in there and it's a bit more sturdy in here now it's not quite as I mean it's still really top heavy obviously but it's not quite as like wobbly in the pot and then I potted up all my little crassula props with each other. This one on the far left was literally just a leaf that came off. It doesn't have any roots, but it does have that little bit of growth in the center, which actually used to be hollow, so that's exciting. So I potted all of these little propagations in cactus, or yeah, cactus mix. So here are all of my more successful donkey, donkey's tail props. Here's a long donkey's tail prop. I'm just seeing how things work with this. It did have a little bit of roots on there already, so I just went ahead and threw, threw it in the soil. I don't know, if it, if it dies, it dies. It's not a big deal. I'm just kind of testing things out. And then these are my donkey's tail props that aren't um, quite as successful yet. They do have a little bit of roots, but no little babies popping off of them yet. So I just put those all together in a little pot. So here we go, we'll see how it goes. Um, and now I just gotta carefully clean up without getting soil everywhere. It has been a day now since I cut this um, snake plant. You can see that it's been calloused over, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in this water. And I'll try and remember to change this water pretty frequently, but also chances of that actually happening are pretty slim. I have nothing that I need to do with my begonia. I actually watered it last night, but I wanted to show how beautiful this leaf is, which is one of the newest leaves as is this dark one and then this dark green one back here. I don't know why the new ones that have come out since I got it are all really dark like that. This leaf doesn't look like it's doing too great, but there's so much new growth coming in. Let me see. You see that little tiny little baby leaf? That little tiny little baby leaf. And I think there is another one. Yeah, right there. 
This thing is putting off so much growth for me and I was absolutely certain I was going to murder it. It's so beautiful, especially in the sun. You can really see the iridescence. Today was the first day since I bought the ZZ plant like maybe six weeks ago that I finally watered it and it might be a little too late. I didn't realize that this was this um, like stalk had gotten wrinkly and that the color started turning light because it needed water. Oh. So that might be a lost cause, but I got it watered before any other permanent damage was done, I think. Um, so I just have it dripping into this bowl. And then I think I'll go ahead and water this one as well, just because I'm assuming if this one needed water, this one also needs water because I haven't watered this one either. And this plant is still a mystery to me. I don't know what it wants, but it looks sad, clearly. And looking at the undersides of the leaves... Oh, of course, I picked, like, a pretty clean one. <laughs> the underside... Oh, here's a good one. The underside of the leaves... All of these things... I have no idea what that is. It looks kind of like... White fly eggs? I really don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is go in with some neem oil and just polish the bottoms of the leaves and do that. I don't know. I do want to buy some mosquito bits and some like fungus gnat sticky papers this weekend if I get the chance. So I just don't know what it wants from me. It looks so sad. a bit of a uh, non-update basically so I took these out of dormancy or not took them out of dormancy but I started watering them um, two weeks ago today so it's been 14 days I have watered them twice the first with just normal water the second with fertilizer like very diluted fertilizer and I still have no signs of growth in either one of them I truly have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea if I took them out of dormancy too early, if I put them into dormancy at the wrong time of the year. I really have no idea. So I'm just going to, I guess, keep watering them when they seem like all the water has been either evaporated or absorbed by the roots. Because, I mean, they're getting lighter after I water them, so it makes me think that the water is going somewhere. Because these are drying out sometimes faster than my plants that actually are growing which makes me think something is happening down in there and i think that's where i'm going to wrap it up today i totally forgot to film an outro so here it is um i will i guess keep y'all updated on more of these plants especially the ones that are struggling i don't know but uh keep an eye out for next week's plant content i usually post it on sundays or mondays and i'll catch you in the next video bye